Hello, welcome to the TechBits YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at what Postgres table spaces are. That said, let's get started. A table space is a location on a disk where you can dump all these and store database objects. A few examples, tables, indexes, and temporary files. To make it easier to talk about this topic, it might be easier just to illustrate it a little bit better here. So that said, let's clean up here everything we have and let's imagine this is our disk. We're going to have multiple directories in it. One, two, three. But by default, everything gets stored in the PG default table space. Nothing wrong with that, but it could be sometimes a little bit daunting to place in any other location. So what are the advantages of having a table space? It allows you to organize in a specific location your databases. You could create a directory called databases and under it, under each respective database name, such as Northwind, Demo, AdventureWorks, etc., any of these other existing databases, Prod, Demo, Dev, you can group them all together there and in each specific directory, all the data will be stored in there. So that said, let's take another look at what that could possibly look like. So now I'm going to create another space in here and I'm going to expand there. Add another one. And notice now we have possibly two table spaces in there. Assume that each one of these blocks within this disk is a table space and in here, we would be dropping our database and its objects itself. One here and another one here. Does that make more sense? It is, helps to organize things and keep them a lot more tidy. So now that we have an idea of what a table space could be, let's go ahead and start creating one. For that, I'm going to open the terminal. I'm going to create on our root directory, notice that we don't have any directory called databases. I'm going to create one called databases. I get prompted for my password. I'm going to list again. And now notice we have a databases directory here. I'm going to create another directory under it called NW. That's going to be used for my databases itself. I'm going to list for the structure databases and NW is there. I can even do a tree for databases and notice that I need to install it. So I'm going to install tree and once it's completely installed, I can again run the command. It's empty, zero directory, zero files. Great, so far so good. But now I have to assign permissions to this directory. Notice that databases belongs to root as indicated here. Nothing wrong with that. We're going to change that quickly. I'm going to do sudo change own Postgres Postgres for databases. And I'm going to also do it for NW. Let's do another tree or just list it again. And notice that we have Postgres assigned to the databases. Now, that's all great, but we still have to create a table space, meaning we have to tell Postgres, now you can use this table space, uh, create one and assign it into databases in W. So for that, I'm going to have to log into my Postgres, of course, prompted, psql. What we have to do is create a table space. We're gonna create a table space called NW and its location will be databases NW. It was successful. So what can we do here? If we list all table spaces with our databases with a meta command DB plus, you'll notice that a few are listed. 
Now it's telling us the name of the table space, the owner is Postgres, and this is the location. Okay, nothing wrong with that. What if we want to see what is listed, what is available, and what we just created in that table space? Well, let's go ahead and try that again. Tree, databases, and W. It's still empty. Of course, we have to do a pseudo for that to be successful. Now we have something in there. We have, it's telling us PG version 13 has created a, a directory under it, as it indicates there. What if we take a look at that directory? It's empty. So just for kicks, let's go ahead and now let's log in into Postgres again. And now let's create a database. Create database NW and assign it into table space NW. Success. Let's list the databases. We have a new database listed NW that's available. We can cross check and see if DB Plus continues to list it as well. Yes, the size has increased. And now, last but not least, let's go ahead and do a pseudo tree databases NW. And notice now we have multiple directories in there. So that is how successfully you create a table space and associate it with a database. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you. See you soon.